Welcome to Diagramming Direct Objects. A direct object is the receiver of an action, as in the man threw the ball. In our sentence, we know that the subject is the man and the verb is through. So we're going to fill in these blanks. Man through, to find the direct object, we ask what? So what did the man throw? He threw the ball, and that's our direct object. Ever since our company started using Windward reports, programmers like myself have had way too much time on our hands. Because we get so bored, Dirk and I kind of started pranking each other a little bit. Oh, it was all in good humor at first, you know. Harmless stuff like switching the decaf with the regular. <laughs> Dumb stuff like that. So let's find the direct object in this sentence. Dirk drank coffee. We're going to use the same as before and fill in the subject and the verb. Our subject is Dirk and our verb is drank, but what's the direct object? Dirk drank what? He drank coffee. Started it? Really? July 12th, 2006. I was just in my cubicle minding my own business. Are you putting tape on the bottom of my paperweight? I'm, I'm bored. Oh, sweet. Is that your new name tag? Yes, sir, it is. Ah, oh, can I see it? Wow, that's awesome. That is just so awesome. Ah, jerk! So let's try it again. Brent threw a rock. We need to find the subject and the verb again, which is Brent and threw, and ask what. What did he throw? Brent threw the rock. That's our direct object. Everything, everything taken into account, I'd say the bulk of injustice has been done to me. One more example. Brent stapled the tie. Brent is our subject. Stapled is our verb. Brent stapled what? He stapled the tie. So our direct object is tie. 